Happy Thursday, everybody. I am heading over to Universal Orlando again for Halloween Horror Nights. Today is officially the last time that I'll ever be saying that for 2014, unless they extend our passes to Saturday, which doesn't seem really likely at this point. Look at this. We're sitting in bumper to bumper traffic in the left lane while these other right lanes go. And the reason being, because the exit to get to the next highway that folks go to is on the right and everybody just tries to shift over at the last second so they jam on their brakes in this lane welcome to orlando so this guy's car alarm is going off because somebody drove by with bass that was so loud that it rattled the car and by the way parking at universal today not a single person here directing traffic Awesome. We made it to stay and scream. We were the last people to get through the gates. But look at this. Universal's got Christmas stuff out already. They're already waiting for Saturday to come and go. Last day of Halloween Horror Nights. We did stay and scream. An Alien vs. Predator just opened. There's Bill Paxton's show. He's not here today. The role of Bill Paxton is going to be played by Drew. Welcome to Halloween Horror Nights last weekend. They decided to make it the loudest weekend ever! Well, honestly, it would probably be a lot more fun if they just played like party music or something. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, as we were going in that Alien vs. Predator house, we thought of a great idea. Not to be blasted out by that stuff, but why not sell parts of the houses or costumes that people use in these houses as souvenirs at the end of Halloween Horror Nights? You can always pre-sell, own a piece of Walking Dead house, or Alien vs. Predator, or own a piece of the, the alien that was used. People would buy that stuff. Listen, Universal, if you're willing to pay me, I'm willing to come work. Despicable Me has a 10 minute wait. Should we go to Despicable Me? Or should we go to Walking Dead? Despicable Me? Uh, no. Hey, we're out here at Halloween Horror Nights. We're in it to Valencia and Cardell. Yep, yeah, make sure you check out my channel, our channel, Us Plus K, and my personal music channel, Lindsay2007. Keep watching View from the Cheat Seats because he's awesome and so is Tim Tracker. <laughs> check out both of those people. Awesome. Thank you for saying hello, guys. I'm always afraid I'm going to get scared here. <laughs> Walking Dead, this place literally is open 10 minutes early and it's already at 90 minutes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Goodbye, Voodoo House. We only saw you in action one time this year. So by the way, we're going to 
dollhouse and the workers outside told us save time and might as well go eat dinner and then come back later. What's up with that? That's it, we're getting ready to go through the house of the year. Dollhouse, one last time! These guys knocked it out of the park this year. Look, it's a cash change. I think it's all the dollhouse people leaving. They're wearing masks though. Oh, ding dang. It kind of looks like Roanoke. Is that dollhouse? Yep. Yeah, it's dollhouse. Oh, uh, we might be missing our friend. There she goes. Goodbye, Courtney. I like this guy. He keeps hitting his like horn like he's from Brooklyn or something. <laughs> By the way, here's a good pro tip, courtesy of Drew. If you buy a bottle of water or have a cup for anything else, and you go to at least cut Coke freestyle machines that are here, and there's tons of them everywhere now. Ice cold. You can fill up with water, ice cold water, filtered for free. You just gotta put your cup in there. Hashtag pro tip. Hashtag uh, Brooklyn. Hashtag Brooklyn in the house. What? Every Bill and Ted's again. Last Bill and Ted's for us for the year. So by the way, sometimes I wonder if anybody really knows what they're getting into when they come here. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? What is this? By the way, it's very empty. As you can see, the seats over there are completely not filled, as well as over there. I guess this person's the only show. played a game at Halloween Horror Nights. The back of the Walking Dead, still 90 minutes. Yeah, look at these people cutting the line. They are gonna get thrown out. Ooh, how spooky. We're gonna go to Walking Dead. Oh, so much fog. So much fog. Oh, there's like nobody online here for Express. Or the jail. Or significantly more walkers in different places that I have not seen before and roaming walkers. The unfortunate thing is there are a couple of guys in there that were videotaping when we were in the house with their phones with the lights on and I know a lot of guys ask me about why don't we tape in the houses and I'll tell you why because they're getting thrown out of the park. So in any event the house was awesome. The ancillary experience with the other people not so great. But it's not going to ruin the rest of the night. Oh no! Run, man! people now going to follow behind the van. I mean, come on. 
I gotta stop giving tips out. survived. Run! <laughs> so, the scare actors from Purge are actually going down the alleyway now. That's awesome. They were hiding in there in these people. We have to save the galaxy tonight, the universe, the planet, maybe later. It's 10 minutes. Where everybody knows your name. By the way, I don't think many people eat the chicken wings at the Cletus Shack. So there's the line for Dollhouse. And we are waiting to get into Halloween. Last chance to see Michael Myers for the year. We're going into Halloween. I don't want Michael to find me. <laughs> oh. Michael's face broke the window in the middle of this, the house. Oh. This is Halloween. When does Jason come out? <laughs> right after Freddy does. Is Leatherface hiding in the backyard? Right next to Hellraiser. That's a scary pumpkin. <laughs> so that last run of Halloween was Awesome. The Michael Myers actors this time around were more amped up than I've seen the entire time that we've been going through that house. And they were just out and in your face. I mean, it was a really awesome experience. It was actually scary. By the way, Halloween now, 105 minute wait. Thanks. I don't think I ever noticed this before, but even Men in Black has like projections on it too. How spooky. By the way, this Frank Club shirt that we talked about the other day apparently wasn't new, but it's now on sale for 10 bucks. This guy's eating meat. By the way, did you know that we were hanging out with Selena Gomez tonight? Drew flew her down here. He's like that. 
There is so much to do at theme parks, there's hardly any downtime. Pretty much all the time, just rides and excitement. Halloween Horror Nights, it's non-stop fun. I mean, you never even have a chance to do anything else. We're waiting to go in Giggles and Gore, and the screen has gone all crazy. That's exciting. Here we are again. It's the Metallica House! I think this is the only song that they own here. I can't just yell at Chris for videotaping, but not me, just Chris. What's up with that? It's kind of depressing that this is the last time that we're going to see this facade this year. I really love this house. Gilles and Gore was awesome. Everybody was way amped up. But I got to tell you, one of the clowns clearly hit me straight across my face. I know it was an accident. It was pretty funny because I think he looked just as shocked as me when he hit me. So, anyhow, awesome house for the year. I'm going to miss that house. We're going to walk back through the purge. It's always funny because Universal has their photographers out, but they're never in the areas that you would want them to be. Like they have them just sitting here. Why would you take a picture right here? Isn't that weird? It's one last time around masquerade. Some of these guys walk right into you. The last thing I would want to do is knock somebody off their stilts. <laughs> We're going to see if there's anything different on sale here. Halloween shirt, same price. So of course Walking Dead stuff, still a regular price. There's not a lot on sale yet, but there will be tomorrow and Saturday. Consume all of your alcohol before you leave the park. And it's the last time we'll see this sign this year, unless we get news tomorrow about them being extended. Universal Studios. We'll see you next year for Halloween Horror Nights. We'll see you again, Universal at least, for all the Christmas stuff in November, December time period. I think December 6th is when it starts. So by the way, Cowfish is still not open. Very, very close to opening though. As you can see, no more ladders inside. And they have all that cool like painty uh, wallpaper type stuff that's up there on the wall now. So here's something you don't see every day. There's a cat hiding underneath that car in the parking garage at Universal. He was totally eating leftovers. Somebody's turkey laid it and left on the floor. Back home, Mary's sleeping already because it's almost one o'clock. But she made these crazy finger cookies. They're cookies that look like fingers. And she made a bunch of pumpkin cookies for me. So she used the pumpkin chips in the pumpkin cookie dough, as well as chocolate chips in the pumpkin cookie dough too. I can't wait to eat those tomorrow. So we're gonna get ready to call it wraps for the day. Um, it was a really, really fun time tonight being able to see Drew from Orlando United and his friends that came down from New York, um, as well as um, Chris, who is local. Really, really awesome time. So um, we ran into a couple of folks in the park, I think three different occasions today, um, folks that watched the vlog. And it really makes things worthwhile when you are running into folks and they are saying hello and acknowledging that they're watching something that you're putting out and you're putting effort in. So 
I can't thank you enough. It really means a lot. Um, so keep coming up. If you see us in the parks, say hello. If you see us on Twitter, you know, we've, we're in Twitter. There's a link in the um, YouTube page as well. Um, so follow along. It's really, really fun. Um, and it's fun for us to be able to meet everybody that's actually watching everything. So on that note, um, thanks for all the likes. Thanks for the comments. Thank you for the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.